Yeah. Welcome everybody to another episode of Live Wire Film Reviews via YouTube. Hi, my name is Peter Mann. What's up? Today we're going to get into the gritty biopic of the 1967 riots. This is Catherine Bigelow's Detroit. The film is set in 1967 in the backdrop of the Detroit riots. The film centers on the events that happened at the Algiers Motel, its victims, its perpetrators, and the aftermath of the event. The pros of this film, it's strongly directed by Catherine Bigelow. She co-writes it with Mark Bull. The two uh, center in on the dramatic events, the horrific events of what happens at the Algiers Motel. The film bolsters a strong performance by Will Poulter. He plays a ruthless, racist police officer, and what he does to these uh, kids in the motel is just one of the horrific things I've ever seen on screen. The film also has a great uh, supporting cast, Anthony Mackie, Algie Smith, amongst a slew of uh, other actors. The film is filled with knockout performances uh, all around. The con of this film, everything's uh, messy. There's just too much plot uh, points that other, other perspectives, other characters that we don't get enough screen time, uh, just other perspectives that are kind of shoved to the side. Uh, I felt like this was kind of an uneven effort by Catherine Bigelow. Other works of, of hers, Hurt Locker, was a great film. I just felt like this was probably the lesser of her uh, films in her filmography. The film is very divisive. It's not a, a, a great watch. It's kind of grueling to watch the scenes that they, that they show in this film. Uh, the mistreatment, the injustice. Uh, it will get a lot of its audience members infuriated, but simply because it, it, it's played so well does not make you feel good after uh, the events that take place. It has a long running time. The film just feels like it cannot find its final climax. It's messy. Point in case, it's just a messy film. I find myself just kind of splitting hairs with this film. I, I know its importance, I know its significance, and even uh, the atrocities that happened 50 years ago bring them in today's uh, society. These things still relatively happen. Not as bad, but you can find examples pretty much everywhere in America. I'm just gonna have to say that I was not very enthusiastic about this film. I was kind of uneven. The sum of all of its parts just didn't amount to the greatness that I felt that this was gonna be, especially coming from Catherine Bigelow. I'm gonna have to give this film two and a half stars. This is Peter Mann, what's up? You can see me on YouTube. Go to our channel, Livewire, hashtag it. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Go ahead, go down to the link and also listen to our new in-depth podcast. And you have yourself a wonderful day. This is Livewire. Wait, how's my hair? It's, per it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs>